All right, so if we were going to take a look at magnetohydrodynamics and try to apply some of the ideas that we're talking about here, it's not so bad. I mean, it's kind of a crazy boat design. But we've got this motor boat, and this motor boat uh, would really do well to have a couple of big fins sticking down into the water. Now, big fins are good for steering, but in this case, they're good for propulsion. And so I want to take these two big fins, and I would like to attach them to it an enormously powerful power supply so that one becomes the cathode and one becomes the anode. Okay. This is a magnetohydrodynamic boat. Now the nice thing about, about uh, salt water is its property of conductivity because of all those nice electrolytes in the salt water. So we know that if we try to apply a, a, a charge difference across salt water, you should get some current flow. Okay, a voltage difference across salt water, you should get some current flow. So if I have to have two charged plates, oppositely charged, you would hope that the salt water would complete the circuit and there'd be this enormous current flow going through. So here, I want to draw this boat from behind. Okay, so here's a boat from behind. And down below the boat, I'd like to propose having one of these plates be positive and one of them being negative. And you know, from the, the positive to the negative, we're going to have current flow. So I'm going to have my current flowing in this direction. I'll, I'll label that I. So this is from behind. Now what I would like to do, just like a motorboat, you know a motorboat with its propeller pushes on the water backwards, and then the water pushes the boat forward. So here's my, my, my design plan. I would like to have, remember, finger is what, magnetic field or current? for the motor principle. Magnetic field, right? Thumb is the current, and the palm is your force. So if I'm looking at this boat from behind, what I want this boat to do is push on the water, yeah? I want it to push on the water. <laughs> Ooh, 3D, this is 3D. Okay, so I want the back of this boat to push out of the page on the water if this boat's gonna get pushed forward. So we're thinking three-dimensionally here. And the, the uh, current is going this way direction of my thumb from positive to negative electrode as the current goes through the salt water. That means that I'm going to want to have a magnetic field that's oriented upwards between these two plates so that the boat can push on the current carrying salt water, which in this case is acting as the wire. Push the water out from between these two plates. So we're going to say that we're going to have to create a magnetic field that orients upwards. And if I want this magnetic field to orient upwards, I would have to mount a magnet in the belly of my boat. So I could put a magnet in the belly of my boat, probably underneath of these chairs here. So I'm going to put a magnet right here in the belly of my boat. Maybe it's going to be the ballast for this boat. If the field is going to orient this way, what direction has to be north on this magnet? Up or down? Yeah. yeah. This is going to have to be the north end. This is going to have to be the south end so that the magnetic field is going to orient around from north to south. And do you figure it's probably a permanent magnet or an electromagnet? electromagnet. Likely an electromagnet. So this boat's going to have to have a really uh, high power supply, a very large power supply, um, to first of all produce these this uh, voltage differential, and secondly to produce an electromagnet that's powerful enough to create a strong magnetic field. So you know, maybe this could be not even a motorboat, maybe this could be like a nuclear motorboat with a, its own little nuclear re uh, reactor on board producing all this power. You ever heard of a nuclear water craft? Nuclear submarine, that would be awesome. Maybe you have a couple of daggers on the bottom of your submarine or on the top of your submarine. I guess it doesn't really matter on a submarine because it's underwater altogether anyway. But let's say it's on the bottom. Let's make this a, a submarine or even put a, put a, take a motorboat and put a cab over top of it so you can dive, dive, dive. Then would anybody hear your motorboat? Hey, you're minimizing vibrations. I mean, this is kind of a neat design idea, this electro uh, hydrodynamics, or sorry, magne magneto hydrodynamics. Well, let's do it this weekend. So, oh, no, but hey, maybe somebody has. Maybe you won't hear them coming. Yeah. 
All right, so that's a nice idea. We've got a magnetic field that would be oriented upwards. We've got a current that would be oriented this way. That would push on the water away from the back of the boat. And if there's a force on water, well, for, we could say it's a, an, a magnetic force on water, then that means that the water is pushing on the boat and we've got our Newton's second law, or sorry, Newton's third law driving our boat forward. And it's based on these electromagnetic principles. That's a neat idea.